So when you film a whole video and then you look at it and it's super dark, that's why I kept pressing. Welcome to the Proud and Curly Podcast, the podcast all about celebrating naturally curly hair. I'm Sierra, your host and founder, also known as C. Johnson on YouTube and Instagram, and you, my girlfriend, are in the right place. Every week, you'll get new insight and curl inspiration on how to manage and maintain your natural curls. It doesn't matter if your hair is a wavy 2A type, a kinky 4C texture, or if you're anywhere in between. After the episode, the conversation always continues on the Proud and Curly Instagram page, so be sure to follow us there. Hi guys, welcome back to the Proud and Curly podcast. I'm Sierra, your host, and today we're going to be doing a new episode, a new series called Moments to Be Proud of. I'm really excited about this series. There's just so much that's happened in the past 10 years, in the past 20 years of the natural hair movement and in the natural hair community that I think that we should just celebrate. We should just love on it. You know, with some hate, it's a lot of negative things I've been seeing lately about the natural hair community, which I also want to get into, but I wanted to bring a series where we could just love and celebrate things that are happening, launches that are happening with new hair brands, um, things that different natural hair influencers and people with curly hair are doing, um, just a platform and a space for us to just love and celebrate all of these moments that aren't, they aren't all gonna necessarily be new moments that I'm sharing here because I'm behind the game and um, we're just starting this series and there's so much that's already happened that I do wanna highlight um, and stuff that I probably don't know about that I would love to learn about if you guys know and wanna share. um, I would love to highlight and learn and just celebrate and show love to all of these moments. (laughs) So I have my notes here um, and we're just going to be talking about recent moments, um, especially in the past 10 to 20 years um, of the natural hair movement and things that we want to celebrate. And then um, why do, when I start reading, it just gets all blurred. There's so much news in the media, hair brand launches, updates, um, shout outs to comments that I would like to you know, just show love to in these episodes, story reshares. I would love to reshare and talk about, you know, just thank you guys for resharing and talking about the podcast and sharing with your friends. Um, And I also want to get into some giveaways and I would love to get into supporting charities. So this is going to be an episode that's going to happen every month. I would like it to start to happen at the beginning of the month, but we'll get there. So first, we're going to start by celebrating. This actually happened last month, so don't come for me. I know that all of this isn't new news, but you guys may have already heard about it or seen on Instagram um, about Black Maternal Health Week, which was last month, um, April 11th through the 17th. And specifically, I want to talk about Carol's daughter supporting Black Maternal Health Week with Mama Glow Foundation. So Black Maternal Health Week brings awareness to black mothers slash birthing people who are three to four times more likely to die um, due to childbirth or related causes more than their white counterparts. Um, and 60% of those deaths are um, have been classified preventable. So I think that that is just, I did not know that before this year. And I was actually, I actually learned about it from Carol's daughter and how they're partnering with the Mama Glow Foundation. So Latham Thomas, who is the owner of the Mama Glow Foundation, and Lisa Price, the owner of Carol's daughter, have come together and created Love Delivered. Um, And so I just want to play that clip. And this is actually how I found out about Black Maternal Health Week and what they're actually doing to help this cause. A doctor yelled, she needs an emergency C-section. I did not have proper information from a medical professional. I I did not feel like a mother. I had felt like my birthing experience had been taken away from me. I wasn't even able to give her a hug or a kiss goodbye. Every mother deserves to survive a childbirth. Instead of uh, planning for a baby, we're left to plan for a funeral.
there are still some medical books and I've heard nurses even say this to me that black and brown people are able to withstand more pain than a white counterpart. What if every black mom was surrounded with the love, support, and information they need to have a healthy pregnancy and to thrive post-delivery? That's the vision behind Love Delivered. I, Lise Price, founder of Carol's Daughter, am proud to be in partnership with the Mama Glow Foundation and its founder, the world-renowned doula, Latham Thomas. Love Delivered will bring increased awareness to the Black maternal health crisis, shining a light on ways that Black moms and birthing people can be empowered before, during, and after birth. Together, we will focus on the importance of advocating for Black women and babies when they are most vulnerable. I am a birth doula and a postpartum doula, meaning that I'm there with you to help you with your birthing journey, giving you advice, just like your best friend that is with you and consistent with you the entire time. Through resources and tools, we will help Black moms and birthing people to create a sacred birth experience that will shape them and their families for the rest of their lives. To learn more, go to carolsdaughter.com slash love delivered. So they are creating a safe space of advocates, education, um, love delivered doulas, and ways to donate towards the cause. Um, so I was very interested in this and was looking all on their website because I don't really know much about this. I don't have any children, but I think that that's crazy um, and very sad that these mothers are dying and you know, it's preventable. So if there's education and things that we can learn about, I think that that is very important. And I will leave all of their information in the show notes down below. So definitely check that out if you're interested in learning more or getting involved. And the charity we're going to highlight this month is the Mama Glow Foundation. So that's a part of this Love Delivered um, initiative and getting help for mothers and making sure that they're able to be there for their babies. So second, we want to highlight a previous guest of the podcast. You guys probably know I talk about her and rave about her quite a lot, but Jess Perez has recently released her second children's book called The Adventures of Susanna, The Positive Alphabet. And I did not know that this girl had a previous book. Um, so I was like, what? So this is her second book. Um, the first book was The Adventures of Susanna, and this one is The Adventures of Susanna, The Positive Alphabet. If you guys know anything about her story or anything like that, or don't know anything about her story, you can listen to her episode down below. But also, if you guys are looking for a children's book to invest in or give to someone, um, I think that this would be such a cute one to give. It's such a cute little... Um, she has such a cute little character in here called Susanna, a curly little hair girl that is learning, learning about the alphabet, learning about the world. So if you guys have anyone that you know may need a children's book, I think that this will be a beautiful book to gift or to give to your child. Jez, I'm just so proud of you for releasing this book. I didn't even know you had a first book, but I think it's amazing. If you guys are interested in supporting and checking out her book, I will leave the link down below in the show notes. So yeah, I just wanted to just give Jez some love, you know, just celebrate. That's beautiful. It's, I think she actually released it a little while ago. She's been promoting it a lot on her Instagram and it's just really beautiful and she has beautiful pictures and cupcakes and stuff I'm like what so if you guys didn't already know that now you know and you should check it out next we want to highlight how many new hair care brands like black hair care brands curly hair care brands there are at local stores that are like accessible at like walmart especially specifically Walmart. I walked into Walmart the other week and I was like, wait a minute, wait, 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 what is this? There's like five new brands that I don't know about. Like, I'm like, what is this one? What is this one? I'm up in here taking pictures. Like, okay, I need to do some research. I need to get myself prepared. Y'all, I remember like when I first went natural, like back in, what year was that? probably 2013, 2014, 
there was not that many brands and especially at Walmart no there may have been five to ten brands but it's not like we got the whole aisle now and also some of the aisle it's like two aisles it's not even just one side it's like both sides of the aisle there's men's hair care I'm like what so I'm super excited and just proud of that um Taylor Beauty recently got into Walmart. I met the owner, Kia James, a few years ago at like a curl influencer talk. And she just gave so many good tips. If you guys are into doing curly hair content, she often looks for ambassadors. So if you're interested in that, I would say definitely check her out. And she just gives so many tips about behind the scenes of her business how she grew her brand. I would love to have her on the show one day to share her story, but um, when I was at that conference, I got a chance to work with her brand, Taylor Beauty, and use some of her products. I believe I did a video before I started Proud and Curly and all of that. I think it was before all of this. And she has um, an edge control that I really love, and she has a shea butter cream that's really nice and you can also use on your skin. She has hair growth oil, so if you're in Walmart and you see Taylor Beauty, it has cute pink packaging, definitely check it out because they're good products. So congratulations, Kia, for getting into Walmart. She had her little um, commercial, and it was so cute when I saw it on her Instagram, so I'll play a little clip of that as well. Wow. I never dreamed we'd be in Walmart. When I started Taylor Beauty in my kitchen, I just really wanted to make quality ingredient products for me and my daughter's natural hair. And now through the support of so many of our loyal customers, we are excited to announce that Taylor Beauty can now be purchased at Walmart. We've come such a long way, but we're still proudly a family owned business. So when you purchase Taylor Beauty at Walmart, you can feel good knowing that it comes from our family to yours. Also, there's some other brands that I've seen at Walmart that I'm interested in. I recently picked up Emerge, um, and I'm actually going to be reviewing those products for this month's product of the month. It's going to be a new series that I'm only doing on our YouTube channel, the Proud and Curly YouTube channel. So if you guys are interested, it's kind of like a new series. I'm going to be starting on Tuesdays called Tutorial Tuesday slash Try It Out Tuesday because I'm still trying stuff out with my hair as my hair is growing back out, you guys. We got to figure it out. I don't know what's going on, <laughs> but I'm starting to experience a lot of the things that I experienced before I cut my hair off. A lot of like the reasons I cut my hair off, especially with um, the frizz and the dryness. So that's just apparently just how how she is or is or I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. So I'm trying to figure that out. So on Try It Out Tuesdays, we're going to be trying to figure out my 3C for a hair texture and just how to get it back popping. Because when I first went natural, we got it popping. So I don't know what happened from there to when before I big chopped and I just felt like it was out of control. So we're going to try to figure that out. I've been learning and seeing a lot of things um, in the natural hair community that apparently we've been doing wrong. And I'm going to be testing it out because if I've been doing something wrong, we need to correct. Because as we're growing back in, we're still doing it wrong. And that's just not, you know... That just ain't working for me. <laughs> I want my wash and goes and my curls to be how we want them to be. And we want them to last more than one day. So, looking forward to that. Um, and then there's another brand that I've seen that caught my eye, Alafia. And I've actually been using their face products. They have like a coconut face cream, no, coconut face wash toner and then a, a face lotion that is so nice and it's just so soft and I feel like they have I saw they had curly hair product I'm like I gotta go back so we'll probably be trying them out in another month but 
yeah, I'm just excited. There's so many new hair brands and even high-end brands that I don't even know, like, I haven't even seen in stores. I don't know if they're at Ulta. I don't really go to Ulta, but maybe we need to go to Ulta, okay? Maybe we need to go to Ulta or we need to go to somebody's website. So <laughs> I'm just excited. There's so many new hair brands out and I think that that just gives more opportunity for people to find what works for them because everybody's hair texture is different. So you got to figure out what works for you and what techniques work for you. So I'm be trying to deep, um, what, what's it called? Demyth, debus, bust those myths <laughs> on oh, try it out Tuesdays, especially with my hair texture, 3C, 4A hair texture. I've only seen like a few people that have my hair texture and really there's one girl on Instagram um, who goes by the, her handle is Callie Curls. Her hair, I think is like the most similar that I've seen to my texture, especially when my hair was longer, but still her hair texture is very similar to my texture. So I haven't really seen a lot of people with my hair texture, which I don't think it's wrong to talk about, you know. I don't know. I know I don't have 4C hair. I know I don't have like all of the hair texture. I don't have 3B. I don't have, I mean, back here is the only reason I say I have 3C. Cause back here, it just be straight. I was like, what's happening? What is happening? Different texture up here, a whole different texture. Um, so if you guys are interested and want to follow me along that journey, check me out on Tuesdays on the Proud and Curly YouTube channel because we're trying to figure it out. We're trying to get it together. <sighs> it's, it's a lot. It's just a lot. I've, I've just always known my hair to be woofy. That's what my mom's called it ever since I've been little. So we're trying to tame it. <laughs> we're trying to we trying to understand, we're trying to work with her. We're trying to give her what she needs, which is moisture. I know she needs moisture because she'd be looking dry, but we're trying to give her what she needs and figure out what she needs and how she needs it. Like, what's the technique? What's the secret? <laughs> so we're going to be trying to figure that out on Tuesdays as well as doing tutorials. Um, I have some some hair tutorials in the vault from before I cut my hair off. Like, yes, why do I still have videos from two years ago? <laughs> so we're going to be putting those out too, because they're like good videos. I did some straw curls. I did some crochet and we're going to be doing stuff with my hair now as it grows out. So hopefully that gives you guys some variety on Tuesdays. I miss my hair tutorials. I miss my hair videos. That's kind of just like, that's where I started on YouTube. So we just gotta bring it back. I'm sorry, we just gotta, we gotta come back. And I would love to um, also show other textures on this channel as well, or on, on this platform as well. So hopefully that can be coming soon too, because I'm not opposed to it, honey. I know this ain't the only texture, but this is what I have to work with right now. <laughs> So next we want to highlight and celebrate the black hair experience. This is kind of like an experience art exhibit, um, photo shoot kind of place that you can go to and see all different kinds of sets that deal with black hair and the black hair experience from getting your hair pressed on the stove. They have like swings with hair. They have like a hair store. Um, with all the different products, with perms, old products, and stuff like that. So it just seems like a really nice place to go and take photos. Um, I still haven't been yet, you guys. It's been in Atlanta for a minute, and I'm just sad that I haven't been. And I've also been invited by them to their Valentine's Day event, and I was not able to go. I was so busy at that time, and I just hope that, you know, I can get reconnected with them. Maybe even have them on the show. That would be beautiful. But, um... Yes, I want to go. I want to take you guys and I would love to have them on the show soon. So hopefully that's coming soon. <sighs> I just wanted to say also, if you're not in Atlanta, they just opened their DMV location on the 15th. Um, so if you guys are there or near there, definitely just try to make a point to go there. I would like to go to that one too, because I feel like it's going to be different. I don't know yet. I need, to, I need to research it. I'm filming this prior to May 15th, so just know that. But I'm, I'm going to be checking out to see if it's different than the Atlanta one. I got to go to the Atlanta one anyways, but my sister lives in Virginia, so maybe I can go to the DMV one too. That would be dope. 
<laughs> so if you guys want to know more information about it, I will leave their website down below. It's the black hair experience.com. And I will leave that in the show notes as well. Next, we want to celebrate the crown act and the crown act is also not a new thing. You guys have probably already heard about it. Um, the crown act was created in 2019 by Dove and the crown collation to ensure protection against discrimination on race-based hairstyles. The act extends statutory protection to hair texture and protective styles, such as braids, locks, twists, and knots in the workplace and in public schools. You guys, I didn't realize that this was really still a thing in 2021, but apparently it is. And only eight states out of the 50 have signed and passed, have passed this act. So what's really going on there? People like children. I know that children are still getting discriminated and kicked out of school for their hair. Hello? Like what? And like, why is this happening in the workplace? Like, this is literally my hair and this is how I'm wearing it today. That's all that it is. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to distract you. It's not going to do nothing. So what? And I don't understand where is Georgia at because Georgia was not in those eight states. So yeah, let's get this passed everywhere. We need to get this passed. Hashtag pass the crown act. Let's get it passed everywhere, especially here in Georgia. So let's do what we can to get these passed in all of the states because we don't have time. <laughs> like what? We're just trying to go to class. We're just trying to go to work. And we're just trying to wear our hair how we want to wear it. I'm about to put some crochet braids in. I'm excited. I'm growing my hair out. So, like, you shouldn't tell me I can't come to work now because I didn't put in my crochet braid. I've been growing my hair out and I can't come I can't come to class. <laughs> like, why is this a thing? I really don't understand. Like, why? It's literally just our hair. I mean, you you understand by now, I'm pretty sure. They got to understand. I don't get it. Do y'all? Y'all help us pass these crown acts because we don't have time. Like, I, I really just don't think we have time. So I think that this is a beautiful thing and it gives support to people that are having trouble with it. So if they have this in their state, they can have this to use to back them up because I... Uh, I don't know. I don't understand. Um, it's sad that we have to really, you know, do this still, but it's a beautiful thing to have support and make sure that we have those reinforcements to say, hey, hey y'all ain't about to be doing all this. <laughs> y'all, y'all on some nonsense and we ain't, mm, we ain't on it. We ain't, we ain't there for it. <laughs> so it's literally some crochet braids. Get over it. <laughs> so, um, you know, like, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> I think that it's a beautiful thing that they're doing. I would love to have them on the show as well, um, just to talk more about it and just to inform us. Cause like, I really did not know only eight states. Like I've been hearing about the Crown Act for a while and I did not know really it was only eight states that have passed it. Like in 2021. <laughs> Confused. So. If you guys are interested and want to sign and make sure you sign the petition so we can get it passed everywhere, I will leave the link to their website in the show notes as well. All of these links are in the show notes or in the description box if you're watching on YouTube. So definitely feel free to click them and support, show love, and, you know, and whatever you're interested in. I'm just, no pressure, but if you're interested and you want to help or you want to support or show love, definitely check out the links below. So I'm just so, I'm so excited we got to celebrate these moments. I really just barely touched the surface of like what's been going on in the natural hair movement. Um, I'm open to going back to 20 years ago. So if you guys know of any other moments or anything else, I'm here to learn. I'm here to share. There's more things that I know about and I'm sure there's more things that I don't know about, but I would love to talk about them and share them and just celebrate. I love us for being us. So let's just continue to do great things and promote each other and 
share positivity and love, especially in the natural hair community, because that's all it is. Embracing and loving who we are. So I hope you guys um, will come back for the next episode. We'll be doing these um, once a month. Hopefully the first Sunday of the month we'll get to that. If we have some, if you guys have any other moments that you guys want me to share, leave them in the comments or let me know on Instagram. Either if it's new news, upcoming news, stuff that's happened that we we should just celebrate and just take a moment and reminisce and just love on. So yes, that's all for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to share with your friends if there's something that you think that they would like. And comment down below if you guys have any ideas or any, you know, like I was saying, any moments that we should share in the next episode. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for listening to the Proud and Curly podcast. If you like the podcast, please show your support by leaving a rating on the Apple Podcast app. It helps me so much, and it also helps other people find the show. Special thanks to Terrence Esquire Huggins for producing the music in this podcast. You can always check out his website, SoundCloud, and follow him on social media at Esquire Music 111. All of his links are in the show notes. If you're looking for more curly content, be sure to follow us on Instagram. But until next week, stay proud and curly.